Yeehaw! <laughs> Game over. Forget though, the underworld's evil is still alive. They will someday return. There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante and his sidekick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we have it, folks. Devil never cry. Yes. Okay, great. Where's the place? We'll be right there. This one has the password. Sounds heavy. Okay, let's get it over with in ten minutes. Can't let a single one of those suckers live. Five minutes. <laughs> More than enough. Such a badass game. I don't know why he bloody gave a Sparta though. I'd keep Sparta for myself. Well, that was Devil May Cry, folks. What an awesome game. And I'll still say the same thing that I said earlier in the Let's Play. I remember exactly where me and Darth Jay were when we actually first saw the, the trailer for this. And we were just like, we need to play this game. I'm not actually sure if Jay ever owned it. Um, I mean, you can't fault it. I mean,. Devil May Cry 2, a lot of people slag it off, but I didn't particularly mind Devil May Cry 2. Never played 3, I know that's really bad and everyone will say you're an idiot for not playing 3. But I played 4, I own 4, quite liked 4. Did the same as I did for this, I managed to get uh, S ranks on every mission. Um, I liked Nero. And I liked the in including, um, you know, putting on... Dante into the game as well. What I didn't like about 4 though was just some of the boss fights felt over some were difficult, which was fair enough, but some were just like total luck he managed to pull it off or not. Anyway, at the end of every let's play that I've done that's made by Japanese, it's time for some Japanese name reading. Yoshihiko Wada. Scott Martin Gushin. Brian Salatin. That doesn't sound Japanese. Yoshinoru Ono. Toshiya Kotana. Kasio Oda. Catch your Oda. <laughs> Masahashi Emanaka. Masako Kobayashi. Koji Kajita, Jean Kato, Kenichi Higaki, Toshiyaki Ihara, Masaya Suzuki, Eric, that is one hell of a name, Eric Genazen, dot dot dot, yes, Suzuki, that is a pro name, sir. Hiro Yasu Tahiro Shinsaka Ohara Akira Kokos Ho Kokos Ho, that sounded like Wataru Hama Shinichiro Komizu Package Design <laughs> That just sounds rude God, that's the right name Kentaro Kurayanagi Yuki Kurahashi Satoshi Nishimura Hiroshi Ono oh <laughs> That's a right name Satoru Takato Cosmo Link Hiroshi 
Hiroyuki Kobayasha Shinji Mikami I'm trying to remember who the director was. I'm sure it'll tell us in a sec. Hide Hideki Kamiya. You legend, sir. I'm going to show you a little bit extra here. If it'll let me. Now, the problem was, when I first had this game, my I got it second hand. Not surprised. Not very good rankings there. Now is it going to give me the option to save? Well, that's not bad ranking, you know. Well, that's not bad. All secret missions acquired. Three S ranks and A, two S's. Mm, that's not bad, I suppose. Go challenge the hard mode. How about no? Now I think... I want to just double check it. Devil may cry. It's going to skip through this, because I can't remember if I've unlocked it or not yet. Now this is um Now this is kind of the cleared mode where you actually keep some of the things that you started off with that you got in the last playthrough. Everything basically, but we're on hard mode. Um now what we can look at is the enemy showcase. Now I'm gonna just I'm not gonna read through all these, I'm just gonna show them and you can pause the video to read if you want. Basically, basically, every time we fight an enemy, you get more information about them, and it goes into here. It tells you about everyone you've ever fought. And sometimes it gives you just a little bit of a tip that will help you out. I mean, nine times out of ten, you'll eventually defeat them anyway. Yeah. Death Scythe. These are the evilest, the strongest, and the highest ranking of all the sins. You even got stuff about shadows. Beezle Bubs. Weakest of the enemy ranks, they are. Good old Phantom. I miss him already. Cyclops, very basic. Nilo Angelo. What does it tell us that that is actually Virgil? Yeah, there you go. It is Virgil, basically. It is brothers. What ha what happened was, and I'm not doing any spoilers because I'm not going to do Resident e uh, Devil May Cry 3. At the end of Devil May Cry 3, Dante defeats Virgil, locks him in the underworld, or something close to that. And Virgil challenges Mundus to a duel, loses, and gets made into Nilo Angelo. See, so still got a few more here. Okay, Sargasso. Very basic. Nobodies. Ah, fetish, that's what they're called. Frosts, they're basically the commanders of the Dark Emperor Mundus. Ugh, nightmare. I hate nightmare so much. And that's what they're called. Plasmas. Now, I didn't actually see that, but basically if you were fighting them with a sword, and you punched them, they would actually split every time you hit them. Ruler of the Underworld, Dark Emperor Mundus. You've been waiting for this moment. Finish him once and for all. There's once in for all, but I'm sure it means once and for all. I'm going to reset. I'm just going to see if I've unlocked. I don't think I have, though. Looking at that. Nope, I haven't. I can't remember exactly how you do it. He 
what happens, I'm going to say, let's see what happens if we actually get ourselves killed there. Well, folks, that is it, really. There's not much else that I can show. The only thing I've missed out is the very first secret mission, and one of the first ones, Critical Hit. There's quite a few videos on how to do that on uh, YouTube anyway, so that's the only thing you're missing. It's not anything major. It's um, about it, really. It's been a very enjoyable Let's Play, and this has actually been the first time I've used my new PC to emulate PS2. Now, this basically means that I've got PS2 emulation down. Which means there's a whole range of other games that I can do. Very exciting. Anyway, I be the Necroscope. This has been Devil May Cry. It's goodbye from me, goodbye from Dante, and goodbye from Trish with her very, very strange looking hair. Thanks for watching.